Well, we woke up right here in the exact same place we went to sleep. We've got an empty step deck behind us. We're gonna go put some freight on it and bring it down to Minnesota. The good people of Minnesota. How's it going, everybody? It's another new day. It's time to get out there. things first before we even get started i wanted to update you guys on diesel uh about a week or two ago we said that he had a spot developing on his skin we thought it might be skin cancer we were getting very concerned diesel went to the vet and it's not cancer so that's good news uh it's not cancer it's totally natural <laughs> uh, to be honest with you it was his nipple <laughs> i guess with age it just turned a different color and he lost his skin around it which made us concerned because it was like a black dot. It looked like skin cancer. But we were a little concerned. Britt bought, brought him uh, over to the vet right away. She's such a good, she's such a good mom. Brought him to the vet and got him checked out and you know, everything's fine with him. He's just, he's just getting a little bit old. So he's on uh, a monthly a Librella shot. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. L-I-B-R-E-L-A. Librella, Librella, Librella. It's a, it's a, monthly shot that he's going to be getting and that's going to be helping him with his pain in his rear hips he's having a hard time getting up when he's laying down especially if he's on a hard surface and uh, he, he can't do a lot of stairs anymore he definitely can't get in the truck anymore so those monthly shots should help him with uh, with that pain and give him a more comfortable life but diesel is doing all good I wanted to update you on that as soon as I could and I kept forgetting I'm sorry Just got this thing all tied down, tarped, and ready to go down to Minnesota. So let's get going. 
Rainer's not getting any closer with these wheels not turning. If they're not turning, we're not earning.
trailer, we will uh, regroup ourselves, do a little bit of paperwork, and then start heading south towards Nicolette, Minnesota. All right, so got the tarps off, got them rolled up, pulled out a couple of new bags, put them in because the old bags were getting dirty. So I'm going to throw those out. So got another two extra ones right here. I just use blue laundry bags. That does the trick. You got to replace them like, I don't know, every month or so or a month or two months. But uh, what they do is they keep the sun off my tarps while the tarps are sitting on the deck like this. And it also keeps dirt and soot and everything. Well, mostly I don't know where they get soot from. Maybe my stacks up there. <laughs> no. No, just dirt and stuff from the road and the road grime. That's the word I was going for, grime. Off the tarps while they're up here. Just keep them in a little bag. It works. It does work because uh, I've already, uh, so when I had them on the catwalk here once, I had them here right in the trailer, sort of skipped over the fifth wheel, but it happens every now and then, even to me. And it didn't hit my truck or anything, but it just bumped against the tarps. And then the grease from down here on the trailer got onto my tarps, but because they were in bags, the, the grease only went on the bags. Another reason why I replaced them. But uh, then I took, took the tarps out of the bags and there was no grease on the actual tarps. So. There you go, that's how I do it. You don't have to do it my way, but if you want to, I give you permission. Okay, so I got my tarps all rolled up, put away. I'm gonna park right here, go get my straps off. And we'll be out of here. got an empty trailer behind us. I'm gonna go to the Olsen truck stop. Uh, just past Clearwater here on I-94, passing by the petrol in Clearwater right now. Right there. So it's just another uh, five miles down the road. Hopefully we'll be able to find some parking there. And we'll call it a night, get a good night's rest. And tomorrow's another day. See you just down the road here. Speedway. This is the uh, Olsen Travel Plaza. Oh, it's beautiful out here. It's the best time of year. So far, I'm not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes either, so that's a bonus. <laughs> Ooh, so I'm tired. Uh, I've been feeling a little off today too, if you've been able to tell. I'm tired, it's like I can't get enough sleep. It's... I've got a little bit of uh, acid reflux going on today. So I've taken some Tums and I have some medication that I have for it and it hasn't really helped much. But, uh, Hopefully that'll be better in the morning. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep back here and we'll uh, talk to you from here first thing in the morning. So from here I have maybe like an hour to my pickup. From what I've heard, it could take a couple hours to get loaded. I don't know, we'll find out then. So please tune in tomorrow, hit that subscribe button and uh, see you tomorrow.